Question 11. An excess of dilute sulfuric acid is added separately to the following reagents. Each reaction produces 100% yield of the products, which statement is correct. So we can assume that all of the reactions are 100% successful and complete. Let's write down the chemical equation for all of the reactions. In reaction 1, sulfuric acid is reacting with magnesium metal. This will give us a salt and hydrogen gas as a byproduct. In the second reaction, the acid is now reacting with a base of magnesium oxide. So give us the same salt of magnesium sulfate, but since it's a neutralization reaction, water is formed as the byproduct. Lastly, the acid is reacting now with a carbonate of magnesium, forming the salt again of magnesium sulfate, and now two byproducts of carbon dioxide and water are formed. All the reactions are balanced. Since dilute sulfuric acid is added in excess, the amount of products formed will only depend on the amount of reagent that is limiting, which will be the second reactant in all of the reactions. To find the amount of the second reactants that has reacted, we need to make use of the information that is given here. To find the amount of products formed, specifically for each reaction, we need to know the amount of the second reactant that has reacted. It will only be fair if we compare the amount based on the number of moles of each of the second reactant. So the number of moles of magnesium can be found by taking the mass that they have given to us divided by the atomic mass of magnesium, which is 24. This will give us 0.05 moles of magnesium. The number of moles of magnesium oxide reacted in the second reaction is 2.0 grams divided by the molecular mass of MgO, which is 24 and 16, which will also give us 0.05 moles of MgO reacted. The number of moles of the last second reactant magnesium carbonate is 4.2 divided by the molecular mass of magnesium carbonate which will also give us 0.05 moles so the same amount of magnesium magnesium oxide and magnesium carbonate has been reacted in terms of the number of moles and since the ratio of the second reactant to the product of the salt form is 1 is to 1, we can assume that in all three reactions, 0.05 moles of the magnesium sulfate salt is formed in each reaction. Therefore, option D is the correct answer, where the number of moles of the magnesium sulfate form is, is the same in all of the reactions.